a really good analogy which which applies to every single example that you gave is if you think of um like like here in hungary we've got well we used to have this really big music festival um which which over the last 15 years i think grew into a massive festival with hundreds of thousands of people but yeah. when you start a music festival you're probably going to look for fringe artists you're probably going to have pretty weird people you're probably going to have um people who like doing experimental illegal things okay. you're you're yeah. you're going like to carnival yeah you, you it's not going to be very mainstream <laughs> yeah but yeah. but as your as from year to year as your festival grows you're going to get you know those weird people are going to tell their less weird friends then those guys are going to come along you're going to be able to afford more mainstream bands and then over time you build this product which is more and more not not for um people on on the fringe of things they, it's going to become more and more mainstream and you're going to have more and more people and i think with social media it's the same and it's it's exactly what you said about facebook and youtube and twitter that initially you need um let's say like a non mainstream user base who who really love it and really use it and then eventually from that you can grow the product to become more and more mainstream so maybe for me right now that that group is um is people who are really really frustrated with silicon valley companies um but i really hope that i can grow it and and it can be for for more and more people and um yeah i i guess we can be, yeah. get pretty big with sort of millions of users hopefully